Hi everyone. I just wanted to show you what I've been doing. Um, this is now, do you remember the cauldron I made? I took the cap off, the lid. Um, I have still got the big spoon in. But um, some of the, do you remember the blue pots I had, the miniatures, and I sent Renier some as well. Um, well, I've painted them black, and then I've done them in silver. But I've done them like they're pouring. They're, they're in, in the air, in the air, pouring, uh, without aid, um, into the pot. And then I've just done some multicolour, um, yuck, what I did when the, you know, I put the glue on the side. And I've just done some multicolour stuff like that. So we've got some green, uh, sorry, some blue stuff going in. <laughs> some green stuff and some red. And it's coming out all yucky, like that. Um, but I, I couldn't do it with thin wire. I had to use thick wire and then I put glue. So what I've done is I've attached the wire to the spout of each of the pots. Because they all had the little spout coming out. Um, and then poured the, you know, squeezed the glue on top of the wire once they were attached. Uh, right down to the bottom. And then attached them inside in there uh, with hot glue. So they're not exactly perfect, but I'm not bothered. I've got the effect that I wanted. I'm just going to try and put something behind. Joey, lucky. Just a minute. Just so you can actually see what it's like. And that may help. Look. So that's what it's like. And it looks like uh, they're in midair. Um, let me just see if I can spin this around so you can see it from different directions. Uh, and I just... What I'd done, I'd looked on eBay looking for miniatures. Um, and I saw um, it was a teapot with a teacup. A milk jug and teapot in the air. And the, on a little tray was a cup and saucer. And it was doing this. And I, I thought, yes, great, fantastic. That would be brilliant for my table. Uh, my witch's table. And so that's what I've done. So it is a little bit chunky. But I'm not fussed. I'm really not bothered at all. I like the effect. I think it's magical. Uh, and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. But that's why I wanted the teapot. But I will be doing a tea set very similar to this. That's why I wanted it. But I just thought, yeah, let's have the pans on. That's uh, all the things going into the cauldron. Um, so I just thought I'll share that with you. So I hope you like that. It's, you know, I know it wasn't my idea, and it was a, another miniature maker and whatever. But this is what we do. We, you know, you can borrow ideas and do it, make them your own. And that's what I've done, because that was done with a teapot. These are done with pans, and um, I love it. I haven't got the lid on straight there, and I didn't want it on, and, you know, I'm just going to see if I can turn it around. Oops, a daisy, I might have to put that down a minute. Let me see if I can turn it around a little bit more, and then show that one like that. See? Uh, get off! Um, turn it around the other way. Um, and you can see that one as well. I just think it was a fab idea that I, um, somebody had had. And, uh, yeah, they thought outside the box, and that's what we have to do. And it wasn't hard to do at all. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.